I read a Gallup poll that was conducted in uh, across the world. 66,000 people were asked who they thought the greatest threat to world peace was. And the answer was 24% of them said it was the United States. And that sort of, you know, uh, shocked me because um, I'm one of the immigrants who's here, you know, lucky enough to be here because I wanted to be here. And that hasn't been my experience about the United States. I mean, I love living here. So one wonders why the rest of the world might be thinking we are a threat to the to world peace. And that sort of is what, what I'm trying to explore in this lecture. So um, I guess we'll be talking about a little bit about foreign policy and how the rest of the world sees us and also about, you know, small everyday things because when people do actually meet Americans, we find that uh, foreign nationals will say Americans are friendly, they're charitable, they're, you know, excitable, they're enthusiastic about life in ways that other perhaps European nations may not be. And and so this is a dichotomy that I'm trying to explore. One of the ways in which typically Americans have dealt with this is by saying, oh, you know, we're a great nation and perhaps the rest of the world is jealous. And, uh, you know, maybe there is some of that. But uh, I do want to employ what we call the sociological perspective and see if we can figure out why other people think that way. And it's nothing more than trying to figure out, you know, what the different factors are and why are people feeling that way? Is there a particular foreign policy that we're talking about? Is there a particular treaty that we're talking about? So what is it that makes people think the United States might be a threat to the world? So more or less, I want to talk about what is US interest and, you know, what is being justified in our name as Americans? What is being done in our name to justify these US interests?